Stupid Streamlabs messing up my files like that. How dare they? Yeah. Cray instead of Urshan is probably what I was going to do anyway. Wait, I went to a question mark? Yeah, I think I went to a question mark. Any items around here? Something? Worth my time? No? Just some encounters to do? already have burns, so we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, so as you can see, Urshan's in the fight. So we're able to switch Urshan in whenever we want, which is really cool. And as you could probably expect, there's bench XP in this game. So that's uh that's something Breath of Fire 4 has over 3, for sure. But you see Urshan in the fight, so you can just switch party members whenever you want in this game. Like, it's so seamless. It's as seamless as, like, Final Fantasy X. There's nothing here now except for the crater. Oh, really? So where am I supposed to go? Or Chamba? This way, maybe. Yeah, Kurok. That looks like where we have to go. There we go. But yeah, um, you can switch party members seamless and you get bench XP. So. Seamless, uh, party swap is something I like about three, or three. I like about this game. Here's an item I can grab. Got a croc tier, which isn't that great, but you know, better than nothing. Get some bandits. I'm gonna try to have like cray scan or something. See if Cray can learn anything from him. Ah, oh, it's got sever. Bum 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 bum. Stop using my sever move. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, Urshan's getting 6 AP. That's another good thing where, um... Where you get AP when you're not in the battle, which is a really good addition as well. I got a healing herb. Excuse me. How dare you heal 300 of your HP? I'm not doing much damage at all. <laughs> now that I think about it. Ow. Good job, Craig. Good job. Yeah, Nina's getting AP. You'll love to see it. Alright, focus one because they can just heal. Good job, good job. And Nina keeps getting her AP back, which is really good. Without Bench XP, you have to choose a party and stick with them as opposed to changing constantly? Uh, incorrect. You can very much use whatever party you want. You just have to go out of your way to level them up more. Plus, a lot of games, bench XP or not, like the older Final Fantasy games, force you to use certain other party members, so... It just depends on the game, and it depends on the player. It depends on the game and the player, basically. Does Breath of Fire 3 have the thing where... Like, in Breath of Fire... Or, not Breath of Fire 3. I keep saying Breath of Fire 3 because we played that, like, over the course of this year. Does Breath of Fire 4 have the thing where only one character can learn a skill at a time? Like only one character like only one character can have sever? Like Nina has sever, so no one else can have it? Because that's how it worked in 3. In 3, only one character can have a move unless it was in their move set. Like, put it like this. If Nina learned, like, Nina learned Sirocco in Breath of Fire 3, that means only one character can get Sirocco from a master. The only reason Nina can have it is because she learned it from her level up. But like, I'm pretty sure you can only learn, like, in that game, you can only learn one skill per master. I don't remember if this game works the same way. I also was not expecting Sever 
to be learnable. I just thought the bandit... I didn't think the bandit would have a sever. <laughs> See you now. Now we're talking. Anyway, you may think that not having bench XP is like, hey, you have to use one party, but... There's a lot of games that force you to use other characters. Most of the Final Fantasy games... Especially seven and nine will have a moment. They'll have a character of the day be like, oh, yeah, this is their character arc. You got to use them Heck, but the Farrah 3 does that at times It also has the invaluable party member who is Momo, which you know Could be a love or hate thing depending Your mileage may vary I love Kray's weapon. Kray really is. Like, he reminds me of Ray. His character design is literally just like Ray's. He's got, like, a tail, and he doesn't have, like, the whole Wear Tiger getup, but similar enough to Ray from Breath of Fire 3. Different fighting style, though. Cookaroo. The world is full of fools and dullards. Few are the they who seek to master the art of magic. You're a master! The first one. That is not an answer I expected. You're not simply saying that because you think this is what I want to hear, are you? No matter, I am Rewolf, a discipline of mystic arts. First learn how to use his- Oh yeah, and they tell you what skills you're going to learn instead of, uh... Just having it. Oh, and it shows you benefits instead of- That looks so much nicer. Instead of them telling, uh... In 3, they told you, like, Oh, I'll make your intelligence go up, but your strength will go down. They show you it. Well, I mean, like, shouldn't I just give you to Nina because you have good wisdom and AP? Nina doesn't need strength, so I think we're going to put you with Nina. Yeah, this is so much nicer. Those who have learned my spell of haste can move faster in battle than others. Know this, the art of magic takes hard work and perseverance to learn, and such learning is often done through battle. Once you've been able to make a combo, attack with five hits or more, return here, and I will teach you more. Oh, I need to make a combo with five hits? It's not based on levels? Okay, sure. Well, we got the stat boost now. Okay, we gotta do the combo thing with five hits. We'll get that done. I saw a chest. Uh, yeah, about a little less than three hours to get the first master. That's about how long it takes to get the first master in the third game. You get Magus or Bunyan. Like, I got Magus or Bunyan. It was technically Magus is first, but most people get Bunyan first. So, you know. Really depends on how you're playing, but about three hours to get the first master, a little bit less. That sounds like how it is in Breath of Fire 3. Yeah, I know I can have multiple people with the same master, but this guy had lower strength. I don't want to put Ryu and Kray with the wolf. I play Breath of Fire 3. The master system is basically the same. Not the same. They probably, like, make it better, but... Yeah, don't worry. I'm aware you can have multiple people with a master. But, like, this guy had lower strength. Why would I want to lower Ryu's strength? Kray's especially. Yo, 26 Zenny. Only can have one lure move except for normal moveset. Yeah, okay, so that's like Breath of Fire 3. That's the same thing in 3. Only one character can learn a move from a master or scanning. But if it's in their moveset, it's an exception. So, like, the only way you can have two of a move is if someone gets it from their moveset and another person, like, scans it or learns it from a master. So, yeah. That's how it works in 3, and I was wondering if it worked like that in this game, and apparently it does. The dam. Kind of quiet around here. Where is everybody? There's definitely a minigame here. I remember it. 
I heard there was lots of people working here, but I sure don't see them. Who are you? What are you doing here? Eh. Um, excuse me. We want to get to the other side of the river. May we cross? Sure, don't need my permission to do that, but uh, wait, don't tell me you don't know what's happened. You hear that? There's a dragon running around in there. It kind of sounded like a dying baby. That dragon lives in the mud. Normally, he swims near the bottom and doesn't bother anyone much. But for some reason, he's been acting real crazy lately. Everyone was afraid he'd break the gate, so they ran off. Well, there you have it. You can go across if you want, but just be careful, you hear? Thank you, sir. We will. Alright, then. Let's go. I don't know what I can learn from you, but I don't really care. Worst case scenario, if I ever decide, like, oh, there's a move I missed that I want to learn, I can just come back to the enemy and learn it off screen. If, if, uh, if there's people watching me who are like, oh, you missed this, or you're not, like, getting every single skill or 100%ing, then this is the wrong playthrough because I'm not 100%ing this game. Because 100%ing this game would probably entail, like, getting every single skill learned, and that's not what I want to do. I'm just going through the game, like, you know, casually, but also, like, looking around enough for all the masters and stuff, but definitely don't care about learning, like, every single skill. <laughs> like, that's not, that's not the point of this. That's not my kind of playthrough with Breath of Fire 3 here, or 3, Breath of Fire 4 here. And use the same skill but learnable for everyone? Mmm, I see. Right, we have to get like the sluice lever or something. I think I remember this. You want master? Most everyone took off once the dragon started acting up. Still, there's some crazy types around here who won't quit. Hey, there's also only encounters in this section, weirdly enough. Yo, Dreadwolf, welcome to stream. How you doing? This is Breath of Fire, the fourth one specifically. I probably should play the original two, especially if they're on the Switch SNES thing. I really should play them at some point, just to say I did. I hear one isn't that great, and it's pretty dated, but... I hear uh, 2 has its own fan base. I'm sure. I'm sure 2 has a pretty decent fan base. Now die. I win. I love Breath of Fire 3 and 4. Me too. They're really good games. They're the only ones I've played. And I love them both. So much that I can't decide which I love more, but this playthrough might... I might come to an answer when I finish this second playthrough of Breath of Fire 4. Because I played 3 twice, and this is my second time playing 4, so... Well, you know, to completion. So, like, to the end of the game. I played a lot of Breath of Fire 3, like, many different times, but I only finished the game twice. 5 sucks? That's what I hear. I hear Dragon Quarter's bad. I hear it's like really, it's like a different, it's like different, isn't it? They change a lot of things about it. Apparently, it's like a PS2 game. Also, it looks ugly. I've seen pictures of it. It apparently looks ugly. At least I think it looks ugly. So, you know. Probably no plans to check out Dragon Corner. If it's as bad as it sounds. There's a metal called Aura mixed in with the mud. We come here looking for it. We're what you call prosecute, prospectors. Why does this guy have a load? <laughs> How'd you like my how do you like my tube? This way I know I'm okay, even if the damn breaks. Honestly, maybe that's the smartest guy alive. Who knows? Dragon Quote is very bad. Yeah, that's all I hear. Who are you looking for something? Sorry to bug you, but we need to get to the other side. Can you tell us how to do that? The other bank? Why would you come all the way to this place to do that? Well, I guess that's none of my business. Anyway, you want to get to the other side. First, you have to close the sluice up there. 
then cross the river. Once you're over the river, you can use that lift to get to the top of the cliff. Drop's got the key to the sluice. Go talk to him. He's the one with the tube. Got it. What is it with... RPG franchises that start in the PS1 and have great games and then they have like a PS2 entry that like kills their franchise It happened with Ark the Lad. I think Ark the Lad, um I learned recently that Twilight of the Spirits wasn't the last game But it might as well have been because apparently there's an end of darkness, which is like terrible And there's Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter oh, Man <laughs> I guess good games Lunar Dragon Song which is apparently terrible. Not a PS2 game, but apparently Dragon Song's bad. Grandia 3. For that fact, extreme as well. Rob, huh? You want the key? Yeah, I've got it here. Got the sluice key. What do you want the key for? You want to go to the other bank, huh? Oh well, be careful, huh? But yeah, Grandia, we can go we can throw Grandia in there. Extreme and three bolts suck. You got the sluice gate key from Rop. Okay, when you're done, bring the key to me. I'll run the lift for you, all right? I have the key, though. Oh, I need to use it and then bring the key. Got it. This is a mini game, isn't it? I don't remember how this works, but... I need to go back. Some of the dragon designs from 3 would be good additions to Monster Hunter. Oh, yeah, because Monster Hunter is Capcom. Yeah, that would be really cool if they did that. Please, Capcom, revive Breath of Fire in some way or fashion. These games were, well, they were a hit before 5 came out. 3 and 4 were a hit. I haven't played 1 and 2, but I'm sure they, they're they classics. I'm sure they have their fan bases. Alright, how does this work again? I think I remember hating this one. be able to walk on top of the sluice now it's closed Gore and Shagaru remind me of Kaiser and Tyrant yeah I'm not the biggest Monster Hunter guy one of my friends loves Monster Hunter though I did play Monster Hunter stories too and then I played some rise I still have rise but I never actually like I never finished like the main quest of it like main quest like all the missions in the main quest but i played a bit of that that's about where my monster hunter knowledge ends you got the sluice gate yeah i got it i not go this way i'm talking to you ah oh, don't forget to close the gate and give the key back well i can't give it back yet so i probably didn't close the gate yet Ba, ba, bum. Where you go? Thing, thank you. Oh, na, 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 na. This is such a chill track, by the way. Just a nice little relaxing track we have here. I like it. I think the music in three is um. The music in 3 I like more, but that's a personal preference. When I finished Breath of Fire 3, when I was playing it and when I finished it, I described it as catchy and easy to groove to. It's just one of the most groovy soundtracks I've ever... Alright, apparently someone said this enemy gives you a good skill, so I'm gonna scan. But, um... What was I saying? Breath of Fire 3's, uh, soundtrack is, like, really just easy to groove to. It's, like, really good. I think Breath of Fire 4 has some good tracks, too. But I think I prefer the third one, just for personal preference. Okay, you're not giving me anything, and this is boring. Time to die. 
Bina, you don't even need a spell this time. Oh, you meant the white one? <laughs> or the blue one? That was the white one. Oh, yeah, I see it now. I think the blue slime had an amazing learnable skill. Look, listen, man, I saw slime. I didn't think about the color. I saw slime. The chest over there I really want. Maybe I'll play, um, they added that Monster Hunter Stories game. They added the first Stories game, I think, to, uh, like, PS5 or something? I don't remember. Maybe one day I'll play it. I did, I liked Stories 2, like, it was a pretty good time. I think the one, I think one of the best things about Monster Hunter is the monster designs. I really like the monster designs in that franchise. Maybe I'll check out Stories 1 if I'm looking for something to play. I think Stories 2 is a pretty good game. I know it's Wildcat's like, it's, what, it's like one of Wildcat's favorite games, if not just his favorite. It's up there, I think. It was a pretty fun time, though. It was a fun playthrough. More agility, but less power. Not really worth it. 